Science was really boring and uninteresting during our childhood days. Well, at least most of us would agree to that. As a result, we don't have a proper understanding about the important things in this world right now, even our common senses have been sleeping since the day we decided to just YOLO, and mess around with our lives. Moreover, this very reason is one of the main factors why the world is being run and controlled by fake news, and people especially the media. Let's refresh our brain so that it will function properly, and in turn not be fooled by crazy things or ideas that are not actually factual or genuine. So here are the top 7 common scientific misconceptions that we are going to learn and understand today. Top 7. The diamonds form from pressurized coal. Diamonds are made out of carbon under a massive amount of pressure, and coals are made of carbon as well. So it is therefore sensible to think that diamonds can be formed from pressurized coal, except. Coal is a very impure mixture of organic material forms at a much lower level in the Earth's surface. Moreover, it is believed and calculated that diamonds are much older than Earth's earliest plants, from which coal is formed. On the other hand, Diamonds are formed in the mantle from a pure form of carbon called graphite. They will then get to the crust through volcanic eruptions, traveling through protective pipes made of an igneous rock called kimberlite. <laughs> Top 6. Lightnings never strike the same place twice. This phrase is actually an old idiom or saying to clarify that unfortunate occurrences, are not meant to happen twice in the same way to the same person. Whilst this phrase is encouraging, the truth actually is, lightning can strike anywhere twice, or thrice, or even a million times. The main issue is the probability of this occurring. A very good example is the Empire State Building, measuring 1,454 foot, or 443 meters high, is being struck by lightning 25 times every year. Another example took place between 1942 and 1977, when a U.S. park ranger named Roy Sullivan was struck by lightning seven times, and guess what? He actually survived and lived to tell the tale. Top 5. Evolution is just a theory. The word theory in the theory of evolution, does not advocate how creationists typically use it. For in reality, scientists use the word theory in a completely different perspective, in comparison with the general public's perspective. In science, the word theory is a collective set of laws, or hypotheses that explains a certain phenomenon, instead of the highly uncertain, or superficial guess that most of us associate with the term theory. A scientific theory is typically supported by a number of evidences. As a famous scientist once said, the special theory of relativity is just a theory, but one that has been confirmed in numerous experiments. And who was that scientist? Yes, you guessed it right, it's, Justin Bieber. Yeah okay, okay. It's actually Albert Einstein. <laughs> Top 4. Seasons are caused by the Earth's distance from the Sun. You will normally feel warmer when you are near a fire, or anything that is burning, and colder when you are away from it. This is why it is sensible to say that the Earth is closer to the Sun during the summer, and farther away in the winter. Unfortunately, this ideology is surprisingly incorrect. Seasons are caused by the Earth's axial tilt, not its distance from the Sun. Earth rotates at a tilt of about 23.4 degrees, which is why summer occurs in the hemisphere which is closer, whilst winter happens in the hemisphere that is tilted away. Top 3. The sun is burning. If you burn a piece of paper, it will be completely burnt out in just a matter of seconds, a pile of wood in minutes, and an entire house in a couple of hours or so. 
The Sun is approximately 4.6 billion years old, and is 864,400 miles, or 1,391,000 kilometers across. It's so large that about 1,300,000 planet Earths can fit inside of it. But in laws of physics, burning something as big as the sun, would only take months until it is completely burnt out and die. But why is sun still in flames? Well, because it is not burning, it is actually shining. The sun glows because it is a very big ball of gas, and a process called nuclear fusion is taking place in its core. Nuclear fusion occurs when one proton smashes into another proton, so hard that they stick together and release a huge amount of energy. Top 2. The sky is blue. It is your holiday and you went to a beach resort for a couple of days, you woke up in a nice hotel, then immediately stood up and enjoyed the view outside. You looked up, you saw a blue sky. You looked down, you saw a blue ocean. But is the sky really colored blue? Well, it turns out, it is not. The sky appear to be blue because of how the light from the sun interact with the Earth's atmosphere. The white light from the sun is actually made up of whole range of different colors of the electromagnetic spectrum, and when they refract and scatter evenly, we see and call them rainbow. In the spectrum, each colors have different wavelengths. Red has the largest wavelength, whilst the wavelength of the blue light is much shorter. So how does that contribute to explanation? The secret is in how the light reacts with the gases that made up our atmosphere mainly, nitrogen, and oxygen. The molecule of these gases interfere with the incoming sunlight. The short wavelength, blue light, is scattered in all directions whilst the longer wavelengths green and red lights are able to pass through. Therefore, as you look at the sky, you are seeing the scattered light, thus making the sky appear to be blue. <laughs> Top 1. There is a dark side of the moon. The moon has no permanent dark side, I prefer calling it the far side. Because it is tidally locked with the Earth, it rotates exactly one revolution around the Earth. That is why we only see one side of the Moon even though the Sun sees all. This animation will illustrate what I am trying to say. As you can see, there is a yellow line right on the center of the Moon, when it revolves around the Earth. Here's what happens. The you go. Can you see it? We are just seeing one side of it but the light from the sun actually touches the other side. Therefore, there is not really a dark side of the moon. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you liked my video. And please subscribe to my channel for more top 7 videos. If you want me to make a top 7 video about anything, please, leave a comment down below.